In a sprawling cityscape, where each building was a monument to ambition and every street echoed with the dreams of its inhabitants, there lived a man named John. Each day, John found himself confined within the four walls of his office cubicle, a world awash in fluorescent lights and filled with the monotonous clatter of keyboards. Yet, beneath his compliant exterior, John's heart harbored a secret, a burning desire for something more, a yearning for a life less ordinary. One evening, as the city lights cast their glow like fallen stars upon the streets below, John's world was about to transform. Hunched over his laptop in his modest apartment, he stumbled upon an article about freelancing. The words leapt off the screen, speaking to his soul. Freedom, flexibility, creativity. This wasn't just a career change, it was an entirely new way of living. But the path to change is often strewn with obstacles. John's initial excitement was quickly tempered by the weight of reality. The security of his day job, with its predictable income and familiar routines, seemed like a mountain too vast to overcome. Doubts clouded his mind, whispering fears of failure and uncertainty. Destiny, however, had other plans. In a quaint coffee shop nestled between the towering buildings of the city, John met Emma. Emma, with her charismatic smile and eyes sparkling with wisdom, was a successful freelancer. She saw in John a spark waiting to be kindled. Over cups of coffee that turned cold as they talked, Emma shared her journey. The highs and lows, the triumphs and trials. She became more than a mentor to John. She was his beacon in the uncharted waters of freelancing. Armed with Emma's advice and a newfound determination, John embarked on his journey. He meticulously crafted his online profile, each word a reflection of his skills and aspirations. He scoured freelancing platforms, sending proposals like ships into the vast ocean of opportunity. The road was rough. His early proposals vanished into the void, met with silence or polite rejections. Each no was a sting, a reminder of the challenge he had undertaken. But John was resolute. He refined his pitches, honed his skills, and slowly the tide began to turn. The first ray of success came in the form of a small project, writing a series of blog posts for a local startup. It was a modest beginning, but to John, it felt like a triumph. He poured his soul into the words, crafting each sentence with care and precision. The client's feedback was a gust of wind in his sails, affirming his choice to embark on this journey. As John delved deeper into the freelancing world, he encountered a kaleidoscope of challenges and experiences. There was the daunting project that required him to learn new software in a matter of days, the enigmatic client whose demands seemed a riddle to be solved, and the juggling act of managing multiple deadlines. But with each challenge, John's resolve the only strength need. He joined online communities of freelancers, each member a guardian of wisdom in their own right. They shared tips, offered support, and provided a sense of camaraderie in the often solitary world of freelancing. The defining moment of John's journey came with a project that would be his greatest test yet, designing a website for a high-profile client in the entertainment industry. The project was a labyrinth of complex requirements and tight deadlines. John's skills, patience, and perseverance were put to the ultimate test. Night after night, he worked, his apartment a cocoon of concentration. He recalled Emma's teachings, her words echoing in his mind as he navigated each challenge. When he finally submitted the project, exhaustion and anticipation hung in the air like a thick fog. The client's response was not just an approval, it was a resounding commendation. This success was more than a professional achievement. It was a personal victory, a testament to John's journey from doubt to mastery. Today, as John sits in his home office, surrounded by the artifacts of his journey, a framed first paycheck from his freelancing, a thank you note from a satisfied client, and a photograph of him and Emma at a freelancing seminar. He reflects on his transformation. He is no longer a mere participant in his life. He is the architect of his destiny. John's story is a tapestry woven from the threads of courage, resilience, and the pursuit of passion.
It is a reminder that within each of us lies the potential for greatness, the ability to chart our own course. John's journey from the confines of an office cubicle to the boundless realm of freelancing is more than his story. It's a beacon for all who seek to redefine their lives.